All right, what we're gonna do here is try to figure out if the microwave thermal switch you have is normally open or normally closed. I've gone too long without being able to determine this myself, so I went online and did some digging and found some threads and forms and videos and uh, finally figured out a way to test these uh, myself to figure out which one they are. And that's what we're gonna do. Um, I have many of these, and I can tell you about 90% of them are normally closed. Uh, very few, I find, are uh, normally open. This one right here is a normally closed thermostat. I'll just let you know ahead of time. That way you know and can compare it to the readings. You'll know what you get with the readings with a normally closed thermostat. Set your multimeter to uh, the lowest ohm setting. Go ahead and touch the leads to the tabs. You'll get a small reading of 00.1, 00.0, 00.345, anything like that. If it changes from open line to any type of reading, including 00.0, that means the tabs inside are touching. That means they are closed and they are touching and you are getting some kind of resistance. So when you touch your leads to the tabs of the thermostat and your multimeter goes from open line to a number, even if that number is 000, that means the tabs inside are touching and they are closed and you are getting resistance from lead to lead. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to heat this baby up and when it reaches the temperature of whatever's labeled on this, 110, once it reaches 110 degrees from the heat gun, the tabs on the inside are going to open. They're going to pop and they're going to open and this thing should jump and move a little bit when the tabs open. Some of them do, some of them don't, but we're going to do that. Don't put your heat gun too close or it will start to melt the thermostat, the, the black plastic casing of the thermostat. There it goes. You saw it jump a little bit. That means that the tabs inside are now open. They are no longer touching each other. So when we touch the leads to this, we do not get a reading. It's still an open line because the leads inside are no longer touching. It's an open line now because we heated it up to the proper degree and the lines inside opened. That's how you do it. So, go back over it real quick. When you initially test a thermostat, before heating it up, when you initially touch the leads of your multimeter to the thermostat, and it changes from OL to any number, whether even if it's OOO, that means the lines inside are closed and they are touching each other and providing some kind of reading from one side to the other. It means they're closed. If you touch your leads to the thermostat, again this is prior to heating, if you touch your leads to the thermostat and it does not change from OL to any kind of number, it stays at OL. That means your thermostat is open. It is a normally open thermostat. That means that the tabs inside are open and when the thermostat is heated to the proper amount labeled on it, the tabs will close and then it will be a closed thermostat until it goes back down to the proper th uh, degree. We're good to go. Go over it real quick one time. If you initially touch the leads to the thermostat 
and it changes from OL to 00, zero. you have a normally closed thermostat. That means the tabs are closed inside and providing you resistance, even if that resistance is 0.00. If it changes from OL to a number, you have a normally closed thermostat. If you touch your leads to the thermostat and it does not change from OL to a number, OL stays at OL, you have a normally open thermostat. OL, that means it's, it's an open line. That's how you do it. Oh, by the way, these heat guns, uh, very cheap. Uh, this one, let's see if I can show you. This one was $17 on Amazon. Has a high low switch setting and one to 10 heat setting on the back. They are relatively cheap, cheaper than I thought. Anyway, I hope this helps uh, give you some understanding on what kind of switch you have or don't have. Thank you for watching.